had Epic Everything Bagels and Aldi Everything But The Kitchen Sink Bagels, these packages look awfully similar. I'm Morgan, I'm a registered dietitian, and today we're going to dive into the differences and the similarities and do a little taste test and see which one is better. Uh, okay, so first things first, let's look into the Dave's one. So Dave's in one bagel, which is 95 grams, this one is 95 grams as well, so exactly the same size of bagel. Um, we have 260 calories in Dave's everything, 4.5 grams of fat, 320 milligrams of sodium, 5 grams of fiber, and 12 grams of protein. Now, let's look at all these. All these bagels, which are in everything but the kitchen sink bagel, that are organic, both are organic. Um, these ones have 270 calories, so honestly my guess is that they just kind of round it up because we'll get to the ingredients in just a second. Four and a half grams of fat, same, same. 310 milligrams of sodium, a little less. Uh, five grams of fiber, again, same, same. And 12 grams of protein, same, same. When we look at the vitamins and nutrients, they're not all um, listed because they don't all have to be on the, the food label. So um, Aldi does provide more, but again, I think they're pretty comparable. It's just a matter of Dave's only does the, the ones that are required, which are the calcium, iron, vitamin A, and then vitamin C. So 6% of calcium, 10% of iron in Dave's. And in um, Simply Nature, the Aldi ones, 4% for calcium. Um, and then do, 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 iron is 15%. So a little more iron is what they say, um, a little more calcium. But what's interesting is that when we start to look at the ingredient list, the first ingredient for the Dave's is organic wheat. The first one for Aldi is water, which is kind of strange to me, but then it's organic wheat. Um, when we look at the next ingredient for Dave's, it's water. So those two are just kind of flip-flopped. But what's crazy is that I think that it must be pretty close um, in comparison, just because, again, the calories are so similar and the nutrition panel is oh so similar. Um, then we have everything mix, so the chia seeds, the garlic, the onion, the flax seeds, sesame seeds, brown sesame seeds, poppy seeds. Here we have the mix. So same thing, chia seeds, minced garlic, onion, flax seeds, black sesame seeds, brown sesame seeds, poppy seeds, and then sea salt. This has sea salt as well. Um, organic wheat gluten, organic wheat gluten, cane sugar, cane sugar. Uh, da -da 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 -da, I lost my train of oats, rolled oats, rolled oats. So, I mean, that's only about three, way, three quarters of the way down the ingredient list. You can see that they are literally identical, which is funny because then I think um, they must have the same bakery baking them for both of these companies. I mean, it is pretty funny that both of the packaging looks super, super similar. So now let's look at the bagels themselves. So the Dave's. I only have one Dave's left, so I have to kind of go sparingly here. My husband wanted to keep eating the bagels, and I was like, no, got to do a YouTube video. This is really interesting stuff. Okay, so I will say that, ignore my bum thumb here, the Dave's Killer ones are browner, like a more of a golden brown. The Aldi ones, um, the whole bag, they each had five bagels in them to start with. The Aldi ones are just a little bit lighter. They feel about the same weight. Um, the Dave's one, the seasonings is a little bit more like pressed into it, where I feel, feel like the oldie one, it's just a little more surface layer um, and isn't quite as like stuck into the bagel, which means that it might come off when you're toasting it. And the other major difference that I see is that you know they're both um, cut, but the oldie ones, the Simply Nature ones, don't have doesn't have quite as much of the cornmeal on the bottom. So if you're the kind of person that likes a bunch of cornmeal on the bottom and like super seedy and crunchy, um, the Dave's one might be a better choice. But the biggest defining factor is the price point. So the Dave's Killer one, I got the, the package um, at Walmart. It was like $4.59. And obviously the Aldi ones I got at Aldi, literally half the price. It was like $2.30 or $2.40, something like that. Um, so definitely, depending on how many bagels you're eating, the Aldi Simply Nature ones can be a better value in terms of price point. Um, again, both having organic 
whole grains, very identical pretty much <laughs> nutrition profile, so nutrition is the same. And let's dive into the taste. So I'm just going to bite it on in so we can get a good, good feel for it. Hmm. So, surprisingly, they're both super soft. I've also tried them toasted. And toasted, I honestly couldn't tell the difference. Um, so that's why I decided to do a taste test kind of like as is, so if I could tell the difference. And the only thing is that the only one feels a little like stickier, and that might be because it has a little more of that water. Um, but taste-wise, they're gosh awfully similar. So I don't know, y'all. If you're out there shopping around, I am a huge Dave's Killer fan, um, bread fan, but I'm also a huge Aldi fan. And I think personally, I'll probably keep getting the Aldi ones just because they are much more economical. And my husband loves bagels, um, and these everything but the kitchen sink bagels that are whole grain are definitely a good nutritional value. Again, five grams of protein or five grams of fiber is pretty hearty. Plus the 12 grams of protein means that that's about the same as two eggs. Um, and honestly, I think just bagels taste better is my personal opinion. So definitely um, a breakfast that would help keep you full and satisfied and all that good stuff. But all the bagels, Dave's Killer Bread bagels, literally exactly the same. You can make your own sort of comparison, but um, I'd say give the oldie ones a try. I hope that you found this helpful, and until next time, keep it kind.